The results are in. You can't hear the difference even a cheap DAC makes. Cheap DAC or expensive DAC? You can't hear the difference. Oh, you think you can? Well, maybe you can. I don't doubt that just as there are exceptional people in any field of life, some people have exceptional hearing. But I'm more inclined to think that the majority of people who have exceptional hearing only think that they do. Anyway, the question is whether or not you can hear the influence of a DAC on a piece of audio. I didn't invent this test, neither did the other guy, the loud shouty guy who I've linked in the description. But it was his video that inspired me to make my own version of the test. My own version? Well, his version used music that was such a load of mush that it wouldn't test anything except your patience. For my test, I used my own original recording of electric guitar that I made in Abbey Road Studio 3. Guitarist Mick Hutchings, linked in the description. Oh, you need to watch my previous video. If you haven't watched the video and tried the test yourself, well, this video won't be totally meaningless, but you're not doing yourself the best of favours. Link, you've guessed it, in the description. So briefly, I took my original recording, bit for bit, from the actual session, and looped it back via analog through a cheap DAC. $50 worth of DAC. Surely it's going to be bad, bad, bad. Oh, and since I needed to convert back to digital, I used an equally cheap analog to digital converter. They're actually both in the same audio interface. £53, 50 pence is the price I see today on Amazon. So I slightly exaggerated the cheapness, but it's a DAC and an ADC for a mere 53.50, or about 70 USD today. A $35 DAC, therefore. Cheap as chips, anyway, so the sound must be so bad that anyone, anyone can hear the degradations. The test goes like this. I play the audio and swap between the original and the loopback version a number of times. All you have to do is count the number of cuts. Each change from original to loopback or loopback to original is a cut. Just count the cuts. How many? Don't count the start, don't count the end. They're not cuts. I'll play the test so you can have a go now. The original wave version is linked. The audio starts with the original. So how many times did the audio cut? At least once, and fewer than would test your patience more than your hearing. Between once and twelve times, therefore. The number is random. I got the number from random.org, and it was the first number that popped up. I didn't repeat the selection until the number seemed random enough. It's random. In my previous video, I invited viewers to go to a poll where they could submit their answer, and 505 people did. Thank you. Here's what happened. Spoiler, I'm giving the answer soon, so if you want to take the test yourself, then take it now. So here are the results in a nice pie chart. I do like charts, and I do like pie. Whoa, this is, this is huge. Look at that big blue segment. 54.3% of respondents couldn't hear any cuts. No judgment, yet. Also huge, 10.3% were listening on their phone speaker. OK, there's always some but I think maybe at least a few of these people were just having a laugh. OK, ha ha. When we get down to it, though, excluding don't knows and phone speakers, the largest segment says four cuts. The next largest says three cuts. The smallest segments with responses say eight cuts or ten cuts. Well, that's leaving out 11 or 12 cuts with zero responses, and I lost count with just one. Congratulations, that person. You're one in 500. And five. What's the answer then? The answer is six cuts.
You heard the original four times and the loopback version three times, starting with the original. Let's see this playthrough in my Digital Audio Workstation software. The audio that's playing is coloured, the audio that's muted is greyed out. We need some interpretation. Now, bear in mind that I am neither an experimental scientist nor a statistician, so my comments are no more valid than any other layperson's. My first comment, come on, it's standing out a mile. 97.2% of respondents couldn't reliably hear the difference. OK, maybe some of them could and just miscounted. But I take this as really quite clear evidence that even this cheap DAC and ADC performs better than the human ear can detect. I think, even though I try to say as clearly as possible to count the cuts, some respondents might have counted the audio segments, in which case their answer would have been 7, if they had heard the differences. But then only 2.2% said 7, so I don't think this confirms any exceptional degree of audio acuity. Likewise, some respondents might have counted the cuts in one direction only, so they'd get 3. 6.1% said 3, so I'd maybe count that as a maybe, but probably not. Another issue that genuine statisticians will point out is that humans are not very good at being random. So if I just said pick a random number from 1 to 12, it wouldn't surprise me if the results were a Gaussian distribution around 6 and 7. So the results for 5, 6 and 7, 4.2, 2.8, 2.2% respectively. They may be skewed higher than they should. I don't know what happened to 8 at 0 0.6. Unlucky number, maybe? One more. You've heard the test and you've now seen the test. Did anything you see influence whether you think you can hear the differences or not? Humans are very persuadable, you know, and even the colours may influence what you think you hear. I'm not going to present any kind of conclusion at this point because I'm sure my commenters will want to weigh in, and please do. I know from previous responses, your test is invalid. <laughs> the correct way of putting that is, your test is invalid because dot dot dot. I also know that whatever music I use for the test, some will say it's not the best music for a test of this kind. Just as I said about the loud shouty guy. If you want to comment on this, please do. But we really need more than saying it doesn't match your personal musical preferences. And bear in mind that I can't use copyright music on YouTube. Over to you. I've had my say. Time for you to have yours. See you soon.